what's going on guys welcome back to the channel and today we're going to look at this this is the MSI MPG Z490 carbon gaming Wi-Fi motherboard and boy is it sexy and it is full of all kinds of crazy eight features I mean 4800 megahertz on the RAM holy Jesus and oh yeah speaking of RAM we got ours in boom now unfortunately I thought I read it wrong. I thought it said 3200 megahertz was the fastest this thing went. That was the other board I was looking at. This one apparently takes up to 4800. So that means that we will have to buy more RAM, faster RAM. Now, to go in this motherboard, I bought an i7 1070 8 core 4.8 gigahertz CPU. Now, with this motherboard being in on the high inner side, that means I can overclock it. And boy, are we going to overclock it. We're also going to water cool it too. Look at this. It has an 8 and a 4 pin. Look at that. 8 and a 4 for the CPU. Isn't that insane? Uh, the IO shield's built in. That's cool. I like that carbon fiber look. All of the power chokes and MOSFETs on it. Man, that thing's insane. Look at that. Woo. Man, look at all the detail on it. Those are your M.2 shields, by the way. I mentioned that a few times. Four dim slots. This thing looks great. Make sure to leave a like, guys. Alright, so let's see here. Oh man, that's pretty. Let's pull that out. Let's see what we got in the box. Comes with an MSI driver CD, cool. A badge. A pamphlet for gear. Thank you for choosing us. This looks like, oh cool, wire management. You can wrap it around the cable and then you could uh, na uh, name it or title it. Give it a description, which really works, especially when you have a lot of fans and a lot of RGB. Okay, moving on. All right, what else we got? Join us. Um, how to install the, yep. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. What is this? This is uh, our user guide. Wow, very nice. Alrighty, moving on. Uh, those are RGB connectors. Uh, RGB extenders, SATA cables, um, oh that's the Wi-Fi that comes with it, the built-in Wi-Fi antenna, 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 whatever you want to call it, and then that looks like another, that's another uh, fan thing, uh, those are for your M.2, those little screws right there, I already know what the, all that's for, alright, so I was kind of usually they give you a bunch of stickers, but I hope these aren't the only stickers that I get Maybe I'm just kind of missing them or something But let's move on All right, so let's take a better look at their included Wi-Fi antenna I like how it has MSI on it Now one of the pictures that I saw was this thing actually kind of lights up But then I saw other pictures of it where it didn't light up. So I don't know and maybe somebody's messing with me but that goes basically like that. You can sit it anywhere you want. Um, luckily for me though, we're not doing Wi-Fi. I just plug mine straight in. I got a Cat 7 or a Cat 8 um, Wi-Fi cord. I plug it straight in. But yeah, that's their, uh, their Wi-Fi thing. That looks pretty cool. I like that. Very nice. For all the fan headers in the right corner of the board. You can actually see some of the detail when I use the other camera. It looks good though. Look at all them little capacitors and MOSFETs and all kinds of little things just doing whatever. I like all the integrated look to it. That looks awesome. I'm confused though. Why is there a 20 or a, a USB? Well, it doesn't look like a USB. I don't know. If y'all know what this is, comment below. Tell me in the comments if y'all know um, what this thing is right here on this motherboard. I have no clue what that is.
Man, the carbon fiber just looks great on this. Boy, I can't wait to turn this thing on. It's going to get all glowed in the dark and stuff. It looks like you got a couple more fan headers down here. And then you got USB 1, USB 2. What else you got down here? Um, looks like you got some RGB stuff right there as well. This is the audio side of the board. You can see all the audio chips and stuff. And then there's your uh, connection right there for you. I like all the little detail on the board. I think that looks so cool. Yeah. Mystic Gaming. MSI MPG Carbon Gaming. Cool. And then here's our M.2 Frozer Shield, which looks cool as well. And then you got, uh, looks like you got another fan header right there. Let's take a quick look at the IO Shield. Now, the IO Shield is pre installed on it. Um, USB 3. And now these are USB 3, but they're 20 gig. These are 10, and these are 20. And then, of course, you have your Wi Fi, your audio. Um, that is something that nobody ever uses. That's for um, transmitting data like audio signals and stuff. It does have a Type C, an HDMI, a display port, and then this is for your keyboard and mouse. So your keyboard and mouse go there, and then whatever else you want to use, I would put, you know, your. Your USB connections, if you're transmitting data, I'd put them in here. But I do like how the IO shield is already pre-installed. That's pretty cool. That's a lot. That is a lot. Well, that's a lot of power that's going through here. This thing can handle RAM speeds up to 4,800 megahertz. And then on top of that, you can pull 500 and something watts just from the CPU. This board is meant to be overclocked and to pull a lot of juice. Um, let's see here. It actually says that it has two times the CPU power connect support maximum 45 amps, 540 watt power delivery. Whoa. Lightning USB 20 gigs, Wi-Fi Bluetooth, audio boost. Uh, you can see here, that's what the board looks like when it's all going to be lit up. And I picked it for a reason too. I think it's going to go very well with our build. Here's some of the statistics that I was talking about and reading off to you guys. Uh, let's see here. It's an LGA 1200 socket. 4800 speeds OC. Intel Z490 chipset. Opane memory. Boost. Oh yeah. Airflow Optimize, M.2 Shields, and there's your I.O. and stuff. Uh, this board was about 239 bucks, so it's in the higher range of motherboards. Um, you know, you got your low, your medium, and then your high end. This would definitely be in your high end. Um, there was a board that was one step above this, but it was like 500 bucks, and then there was a board that was below this that was like 190 bucks, but that was for a different generation. So this is the MSI MPG Z490 Gaming Carbon Wi-Fi. That's the name of the actual board. So I was, uh, I was looking at the board and I noticed this little diagram right here. And it actually tells you which RAM slots you need to populate first. Which is really cool because in most motherboards you start here and then work your way there and then you start with those two but with this motherboard it's actually channel 2 and channel 4 that you start with first but it's actually channel 2 and channel 2 which and this is channel 1 channel 1 but I just thought that that was really cool that it actually has a diagram on it right there that is awesome what a great idea MSI
you want all the capabilities that come with it and the RGB, well, then you're going to pay the price for it. That's just how it is. But this was just a quick review. Um, hopefully, if I had a CPU, I would turn it on so you guys could see all the, all the pretty lights and everything that come on with it. But I don't. All I got right now is the RAM and the motherboard. Um, of course, the power supplies and everything else will be coming in here soon. But I hope you guys liked it. Make sure to leave me a like. Please subscribe to my channel. I noticed that the subscription is going up, and I appreciate you guys for that. Um, help me out. Share it on Facebook. As always, you guys be cool. We'll see y'all in the next one.